was the son of a pizza man, the only boy who could ever feed me. Hey guys, welcome to Son of a Pizza Man. I'm Enzo. And I'm Davey. And today we're talking about spicy salami. So, <laughs> what? This week uh, I'm making a pizza with Anduya. Uh, so, last time uh, we were mispronouncing this like jerks. And uh, so it's N D U G. Wow. Wow. N D U J A. J -A. And do ya. And do ya. And uh, it's basically a spreadable salami. It's got a little spice to it, it's got a little smoke to it. And um do ya and do and and do ya both and do ya. And do ya. But I know both of those the way we were mispronouncing it and the way you're supposed to pronounce it, they don't sound like a it doesn't sound like an Italian thing. Something yeah. about it seems like it seems like it, the Middle Eastern maybe. Yeah, it's from it's from Calabria, which is in the southwest part of Italy. Okay. So it's it's definitely Italian. Okay. Um, it's I think I feel like it's used elsewhere. Uh, they use it a lot in England apparently hmm. or, or the UK. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's just it's just this like squishy, spreadable meat. It also kind of looks like, from that perspective, it kind of almost looks like like uh, like a chorizo, sort of. Because like chorizo, when you I get know. it out of the casing, is like kind of a grainy, spicy right. meat, but it has a lot of cinnamon in it. So I asked uh, Dan Masafella, who recommended uh, us using uh, Nduya, how to make it, and he suggested just putting it on directly onto the pizza, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have some um, andouille, mozzarella, and some onions. Fresh mozzarella. Yep. Not shredded. Yep. Yep. So, I, I mean, hopefully it's good. So, we'll see. We'll see. So before we get into the tasting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. That way you're updated when I do upload new videos. And yeah. Updated. Updated. Stay up to date in what's current in the world of... Is that a pizza oh, was, that, was that my cue? That was supposed to be your cue. Oh, sorry. What is this? So, uh, so, 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 a couple notes about this pizza. Uh, I wasn't sure, so I used Mazzafella's 72 hour dough, which uh, I'll get into in a later video, but so I was trying a new dough and he suggested doing it this way. I think next time I might try it a different way as far as like the toppings. So, but we have mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, and duya and red onions and sauce and duya so let's go all right it's got a um it's definitely got like a smoky spicy kind of flavor to it mm -hmm. it's uh super oily like when i was scooping it out it, my hands were like covered in grease. The characteristics that it shares with salami are that it's like, it's salty, it's very rich, um, it feels like fatty and those kinds of things. It does have those kind of smoky flavors, but it's definitely like. Yeah, it's 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 good. It's really good though. It's tasty. Mm -hmm. um, I think maybe next time I would mix it in with a sauce. 
Yeah. Just so it's like more more of like an even flavor within the sauce. Yeah, there's or something the entire pizza. There's something about it that like I'm I mean I'm glad that it's just in spots on the pizza because it is really powerful. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, it would be but yeah, the idea of like like when we a lot of the pictures that we saw of it um, they're like spreading it on just like toast right. and then eating it uh, as it is, which is like I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure it's delicious. It's, it's like, like, you know, crusty piece of bread. Some... I'm, I'm sure it's awesome, but it'd be really good with some pate. wine. Pate. What, what? Pate. It does have a pate vibe for mm -hmm. sure, but like a real, very Italian pate vibe. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So yeah, this is a, a success, I feel like. So. Uh, what a hoot! Thanks, Dan, for the suggestion. Um, if you check out Mozzafella on Instagram, I think his page is mozzafella.co is that it? UK? Yeah, he's in the UK. It's a UK site, so just look up right. mozzafella, F-E-L-L-A, -L -L -A, and then um, it'll come up in Google. So yeah, You'll see him. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. So now it's time for... The Wheel of Pizza! Spin the pizza way! <laughs> Wait, we have, to, we have to agree on a branding, right? It's the pizza wheel. Not the Wheel of Pizza? All right, Wheel of Pizza. All right, ready? Ready? Spin it. Spin that thing. Pizza, 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 pizza. What is the land on? Number six. Hey, it's six. Hey. Hey. So let's see what number six is. This contraption away. Oh, we got a pink envelope. Oh, baby. It's very exciting to get out of the blues. So number six is. Da -da -da. What do you think it is? I think it's gonna be like a cinnamon roll pizza. I hope it's a sweet thing. A lotes pizza. Oh, oh lotes. yes! I love a lotes. It's one of my favorite things to eat. Um, it's delicious. I don't make it very often because it is mayonnaise and in cream, but it is fantastic and it's a real good summer food. So Yakov submitted this, so thank you Yakov. Thank you Yakov. And um, yeah, so we're gonna get working on that. Yep. And thanks so much for watching. As always, if you have a pizza that you want to see me make, hey, uh, yeah. hit me down below in the comment section or you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe uh, so you're notified when I get upload new videos. Uh, also hit that notification bell, that also helps. And um, yeah, until next time. Smell you later. Ciao for now. Was the son of a pizza man, yes he was. He was, ooh, yes he was. It's really good, but it's really good when it's on the cob. Something better than biting into a corn on the cob and just get in there. Yeah. Uh